Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the fuel cost of running my Volvo S80 for the past nearly two years. Uh, so I bought this car in January 2020, and when I did that, I vowed to myself that I would record every fuel stop um, during the car's ownership. And I've been using an app called Fuelio. I'll stick a link in the description below. Um, it's a fantastic little app, actually. You can... Uh, Record everything from your mileage, uh, your fuel consumption, all of your um, expenditure on a car. Um, really, really nice bit of kit. And if you guys want, I'll do a, a separate video on that. But um, yeah, so what that's allowed me to do is record a load of data on the average fuel economy of the car, how much I'm spending, uh, the fuel prices, how they've gone up, which um, I think we all know have gone up quite a lot recently. Um, so let's take a little bit of a deep dive into the running costs of this car uh, in terms of fuel economy. So in terms of my average fuel economy over the past two years, I've averaged 37 miles per gallon. Well, it's actually 36.986. I think we can round that up to 37, um, which I suppose isn't amazing. Um, it's... I mean, the car currently reads 42 mpg, um, but that's because that's more recently. I mean, when I first got this car, I couldn't quite get over the, the five-cylinder noise. Um, with the way that this car's set up, you can hear that a lot, and it's just good fun. So I was flying everywhere. Um, obviously, we've got the Polestar map on it as well. Um, so it's a bit bit faster than normal, and it's quite intoxicating to drive. So I think that's probably why. Uh, this car is rated up to, I think... 49 mpg extra urban and 31 i think um urban you'll have to correct me if i'm wrong for a combined of around 38 so actually it's not too bad um or is it 44 it might be 44 in which case it is quite bad but um more recently i've been driving more conservatively trying to save fuel because it's now costing a fortune um as i think we all know um and like i said it's gone up slightly um so yeah, miles per gallon, oh that's helpful, uh, miles per gallon, if you're looking to get one of these cars, expect around 40 miles per gallon um, over the course of its life. If you do loads of motorway driving, it'll be slightly more, if you do loads of town driving, it'll be slightly less. So let's consider then how much fuel I've used in two years. We've done just over 22,000 miles in this car in just under two years, um, which is, I'd say, fairly average, actually. I mean, with, with COVID and everything, I was probably slightly higher than most people did in the two years, but... Um, yeah, it's it's a high mile, it's it's a car that's designed to munch miles, so um, that's what you tend to do in it. But um, I've used two thousand five hundred and thirteen liters of fuel, um, which is a staggering amount. Actually, you don't realise how much fuel you use um, overall, uh, which ties up with the mileage and the fact that um, and the MPG gives you yeah, well, it confirms what the MPG is if that makes sense. So. Um, yeah, I mean, it's probably, it's, it includes all the fuel that's in it now, which is about a quarter of a tank, um, so <laughs> it's a fairly accurate number. And interestingly, um, I took a look just now at what the highest MPG was I got from a tank. Um, and it was it was a trip down to Essex from where I live in Herefordshire, uh, which is about a three and a half hour journey um, from where I am. And it's just over 200 miles, um, there and back, all on motorways, driving sensibly. I did 53 miles per gallon, so you can do it in this car. Um, interestingly as well, uh, I looked at the worst fuel economy for a tank of diesel, and uh, that was 28, um, which isn't ideal, is it, at all? But um, yeah, let's take a look then at the total cost of 20-odd thousand miles um, of motoring, um, how much I've spent on fuel to travel that far. So in total, I've spent £3,360 on diesel, uh, which sounds like a lot, doesn't it? And uh, it, I suppose <laughs> it is quite scary. Um, it's about £1,800 a year or £1,800 um, for about 11,000 miles. So in terms of a mileage cost, it works out at 16.3 pence per mile, uh, which is uh, quite interesting. When you think about it, you don't ever think of, if I drive a mile to the shops, how much is that going to cost me? Um, you just sort of get in your car and do it. So looking at it that way around um, is interesting. If you start working out how much um, 
it costs you every day to drive to work, then you just I think you'll just give up, wouldn't you? So um, I'm not going to do that. But uh, yeah, 16.3 pence a mile it's costing me to run this car, um, which is interesting. Let me know what yours, or if, you, if, you, if you're looking to get a car like this, it's worth knowing. Um, 16.3 pence a mile, that's just in fuel. Uh, don't forget you'll have insurance, maintenance, etc. I dread the thing once we've combined all of that, what that's costing me. But um, it's all about the ownership and the fun of ownership as well. And I think this YouTube channel does go towards subsidising it as well, uh, to be honest. So um, Fuelio also gives you a couple of interesting metrics. Um, it gives you your monthly spend on diesel and on average um, and mine's 162 pounds on average per month on diesel um, or five pound i think it's just over five pounds a day um which is interesting again you just think if you include the uh insurance tax etc uh it's not it's not very cheap but the big thing to consider here is that I'm not paying any monthly payments on this car. So if you think if you pay £310 a month um, for your Volkswagen Golf, uh, you're going to be spending it's £10 a day. So you're already spending double what I'm spending and that's just to have the car. It doesn't count for fuel, etc. So that's how I justify this car. Um, yes, the actual fuel cost might be slightly higher than a new car or a modern car or more modern as uh, it's only a 59 plate it's not particularly old however the price that i paid for this car what i spend on it far is, is far below that of a uh, a modern car if you were to have it on pcp etc um i'm also not losing anything in depreciation i uh, recently had a part exchange offer on this car um, and it was far more than I actually bought the car for. So um, it's, it's technically earning me money. Or well, that's what I tell Mrs. DL anyway. So yeah, that's it. Thanks, thanks guys for watching. Um, £3,360 to drive this car 22,000 miles. Let me know your thoughts in the description below. Let me know if you're sad enough to record this data as well. Uh, and let me know how mine and yours compare. Um, whether it's something you consider um, when you're driving the car or whether you just like driving the car so that's why you drive it. Let me know and I'll see you next video. Cheers.